This is verse 26 of the seventh chapter of the Gospel of Matthew. Jesus is wrapping up the Sermon on the Mount, and he's giving counsel that really covers the entire sermon, indicating that those people who hear and do what he has instructed them to do will be uh, like those who build their house on a solid foundation. But in contrast to it, we have now verse 26, chi, the connective, ta, pos, from pos, pasa, pon, adjective, means all or every, depending on whether in the singular or plural. Here it's the singular, so every. And then uh, ho, the article, akuon, from akuo, I hear. This is a participle, masculine singular nominative, so the hearing one would be the idea. So every the hearing one or every one who hears. Uh, then mu, the possessive pronoun in the first person, put up front for additional emphasis, uh, of me, tus, logus, direct object, the words, the accusative plural, so everyone hearing the of me words, additional emphasis with the demonstrative pronoun, tutus, so <coughs> these, the words of me, everyone who hears them, uh, and then uh, significantly, chi, the connective, may, the negation used with non-indicative moods, poion, again a participle in the masculine uh, singular nominative, and not doing, autus, doing them. This is the direct object. It uh, agrees with logus, so the one who hears but doesn't do. Uh, notably, uh, Jesus does include hearing, so we leave outside the scope of this discussion those who never hear, uh, which is a different question dealt with in different texts, but at this point we're talking about those who actually have uh, exposure, have heard these words, and then decline to do them. Uh, that person, this is the subject of the sentence, which now becomes the subject of this passive verb, homoi o theis et tai, third person singular future passive indicative will be likened to from homoyo'o, which means I make a likeness or I liken one thing to another, passive here. So this person will be likened to, and then uh, Andre, this is the dative, will be likened to a man, uh, the dative singular, and then what kind of man? A moral man, a moronic man, we might say in uh, colloquial English, English uh, moron is, of course, the word for foolish, uh, moronic, that's where we get that idea. This will be like a moronic man who, the uh, uh, indefinite uh, uh, relative pronoun here, who, uh, oikodomesin, third person singular, aristocratic indicative of oikodomo, uh, or domao, uh, it means to uh, to build, oikos, of course, the word for house. The domo part, we have words like dome from that, but it means uh, to build to completion. So who will be like someone who builds? And then again, for emphasis up front, the, gen the uh, possessive pronoun, of him, tain oikion, of him the house, uh, epi, preposition with the accusative tain amon, the sand. Uh, in contrast to the solid foundation, the Petra, referred to earlier, this person builds a house on the sand. It probably looks good, nice uh, you know, garden out front, and uh, uh, everything seems very appealing, but of course when it's 